What's up guys? Check it out. Finally finished. Was able to get the outhouse observatory completely finished up. Here's a quick little outside tour of uh, how I set this up. Hopefully give you guys some ideas. The build turned out to be extremely fun pretty uh easy once i figured out which way i was going with this because i kind of didn't draw it out just bought the wood and uh went to town so i just painted it recently with a uh, primer sealer that's a waterproofer to protect the wood it's exposed um this is the roof from the pvc fence that i put together and that rolls right off. I'll show you guys later how that works. Here's the uh, system I use on all four corners to hold down the roof on a windy day. You can tighten it, loosen it as much as you want. Right now I'm just using an extension cord from my pergola that goes right in here, but eventually I'll run a pipe down and have everything concealed. Here's a little latch I use to lock it and the front face of the, of the doors well let's go ahead and open it up and uh, i'll show you what it looks like on the inside here's the top door basically the access door i have for it and here's my beauty that's the lay m's telescope i dubbed it after my kid's name Here's the inside of the roof. Still have some finishing work to do, but overall it's put together. I'm gonna put some supports on here and some cabinet space or little pocket drawers that I can throw stuff in, some tools and such. Little motion detected light that at nighttime turns on when I walk in here and it turns right off. Um, I cover up that sensor and it basically turns the light off completely. You can kind of see a little bit up here. Everything's covered up, so windborne rain can't get in here very easily. I'm sure it can still find a way. Water always does. A couple other things I'll show you. Here's a column I built. Out of concrete. Go ahead and open up this door. And I'll step back here so you guys can see the layout. The grass is growing back, other than what my chickens are destroying. Haven't figured out something to keep the door fully open with the weight of the door, so I currently use that brick on a windy day and lay it down. Keep my dew shield down there, it's the extension cord. Eventually I'll be running that stuff through here. Nothing touches the column, but appears completely untouched. So no vibrations from the house or the floor will affect it. Here's the uh, setup I went with. Get that mount put on there and got it all balanced. And this trying out this new OAG, which I love. Just getting used to how to use it and setting it up was pretty fun. Thanks to a lot of the help of the guys in the forums and the groups. Appreciate y'all for helping me out. Set my ASI Air and my fan which I also control with my ASI and you can see how tight I made these tolerances the telescope just fits a little bit of space to allow me to walk in here and adjust what I have to adjust so I'll go ahead and show you how the roof opens up now I'm gonna step back and open that part up it just rolls over very simply I like to uh, pull it from the other side, but you could come in here and just push it out of the way. And then uh, she's ready to shoot. I slide that all the way back typically so that it doesn't get in the way of my polar alignment stuff typically. So this is how I typically image at night. 
have the door hooked on up on some paracord so I can find something prettier somewhere in my shed. I uh, drilled a hole in one of the supports here. I use this to hold open the top half of the door. Just kind of put that in there. And this kind of keeps it from the wind trying to shut it. Since the top part isn't so heavy, it holds up just fine. That way nothing slams around and all that kind of stuff. Here's the door here. Still gotta cut that brick. Show you a little inside view there. It's blowing pretty good today. Some garage weather stripping. And uh, here she is, making the tolerances so tight. I had to shave off this part of the two by four to let the telescope sway around without crashing into it. And uh, I'll try to see if I can get you a view of how close it is to the front part. Yeah. So anyway, guys, can't wait to get some more time with some more clear skies. Tonight's supposed to be pretty clear out here in cloudy South Florida. Typically it's crystal clear at this time of season, but this year has been just as cloudy as it gets. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help out as best I can. I'm not a professional at this stuff, but uh, I really enjoy doing it. So eventually we get this painted and completely finished. And all that kind of stuff but for now it's waterproof protects my stuff and it's quick and easy to set up and get to work immediately uh all right guys talk to you soon enjoy